Hi, my name is Tuli and today I will talk you through how you can create and use custom fields as part of your job advertisements as well as on your candidate profiles. Let's have a look. To start setting up custom fields in your platform, you'll need to first click to your company name and from there to settings. On the left hand side, when you scroll down, custom fields will be here under the recruitment tab. In the custom fields section, you'll have the opportunity of either creating these fields for candidate specific reasons or also for your job ad purposes. However, let's first start by having a look at the candidate specific fields. You can create a new custom field by clicking onto the plus button here on the right hand side. The first thing you will need to do is to choose whether this field is going to be used for candidate purposes or if it's going to be used for job ad purposes. Then from there, you'll have the option of choosing a field type. And as you can see, we have a couple of different options. Then simply write down the name of the field into the title section, as well as choose some specific settings to this field. The settings that we can choose is to make this field a private field. What this means is that the answers to this field or details that we write down into this field will only be visible to the recruitment lead access levels as well as both admin levels. If you want to make sure that this field is always visible as part of the candidate profiles, even when it's completely empty, you do also have the opportunity of turning it on as a featured field. The final two settings that we have in here is to also exclude this from internal filtering possibilities in the candidate pace, as well as if we want to use this for API details, we can turn that on from here. Now that you have created your candidate custom fields, they will always exist as part of the candidate profiles here on the left hand side. You will simply be able to fill in the details as you go along with the evaluation of your candidates. These details in here is also something that is possible for you to automatically populate based on candidates' answers to some of your questions. If you want your candidate custom fields to automatically populate with the candidates' answers to your questions, you will need to make sure that the question type as well as the custom field type are matching. For example, here as part of my application, I have attached a question about the salary expectation. Now, if I want this to automatically populate my custom field, I will firstly need to click here onto the right hand side to the three dots and from there toggle on the connect a custom field. Now, the fields that I can automatically populate are both also number ones. Simply then select the field that you would like for this to automatically populate in the candidates pro. Now, let's take a look at the job custom fields. With job custom fields, you have a couple of standard fields that are possible for you to turn on or completely not use them at all. These standard fields include details like remote status, salary, employment level or employment type. In addition to that, you will of course have the opportunity of creating your own custom fields, which you can then use as part of your job ads. Creating these job custom fields happens exactly the same way as creating the candidate custom fields. Here you will be able to find the exactly same field types as well as you have the same title section in here. The difference will be in the settings. If you want to make sure that this field is always something that is going to be displayed as part of your job ad, you will need to make sure to toggle on the visible in job ad button. You can also make this field a required field, which means that whenever your recruiters are going to create the jobs in the platform, they will always need to fill in this field. The rest of the details here, again, are exactly the same ones as they were in the candidate custom fields. When you are creating your job ads, you will be able to find the custom fields in this section right here. For example, the remote status that we see in here is one of the standard fields that I showed you earlier. The fields that you yourself are going to be creating will be also found here and you can make sure to then fill them in accordingly. For the candidates, these job custom fields are going to be displayed at the end of your job description in this information field section. So for example, we have the remote status, vacation days, as well as the start date. Candidate custom fields is also something that we can use as part of filtering in the candidate database. 
When you click to the add filter and you scroll a little bit lower, you'll always be able to find those candidate custom fields in here. It is also important to note that custom fields can be used in the analytics section of your platform. For example, in the analytics overview, you will be able to find job custom fields as a filtering option. If you also go to create custom reports in the platform, depending on the report that you are going to be creating, you will be able to use either job custom fields or candidate custom fields, or in some report types, you may have the opportunity of using both in one report. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you've got any questions or need help, you can always reach out to our support via the chat in your platform. Happy recruiting!